What's up, guys? You are welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. We have another trending news for you today, and the headline here read: Nigerians react over call by CJN Tanko Mohamed for full Sharia law in Nigeria. All right, before I proceed with today's news, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos in our channel, there's a red subscribe button below this video now. Just go ahead, hit that red subscribe button, click the bell icon beside it to stay updated whenever we publish news like this without you missing any news again. All right, now the news in details. A call by the Chief Justice of Nigeria, CJN Justice Tanko Mohamed, for the amendment of the Constitution to broaden the application of Sharia law in the country has generated sharp reactions from some stakeholders of the major religions in the country, Islam and Christianity. While the umbrella body of Christian, the Christian Association of Nigeria, can rejected the idea of any constitutional amendment for the purpose of adding to the Sharia content in the nation's constitution, some Muslim leaders and other scholars describe the CGN call as a welcome development. A human rights group also on Friday condemned the CGN's call, warning him not to plunge the country into a religious war. Justice Mohammed had made the call on Thursday at the opening of the 20th Annual Judges Conference at the Amadou Bello University, Abu Zaria. The CJN said, as we all know, there are sections of the Constitution that allow the implementation of Sharia personal law, and apart from that, we cannot do more. However, we have the num numbers to amend the Constitution to suit our own position as Muslims. The CJN was represented at the event by the Grand Cadi of Niger State, Justice Mohamed Danjuma. However, reacting to the CJN statement, Khan, through a statement by the Pastor Debayo Oladeji, the Special Assistant Media and Communication, to its President, Reverend Samson Ayekunle, urged the CJN to deny the statement, which is said was capable of provoking religious crisis in the country. The current statement read in part, we have not seen the full text of the paper presented and we learned Chief Justice was represented at the event, so it is difficult to know if the speech was that of the Chief Justice or his representative. We don't believe that such a reckless and provocative statement could be made by the number one judicial officer in the country how could the CJN say, we as Muslims have the numbers to amend the constitution? It is not possible. It is either it was misquoted outright or quoted out of context. Otherwise, what is the fate of Christians in, this, in his court if it could be so openly partisan and parochial? Do we take it that what he said is the official position of this regime? on the interfaith relations? Why has no one in the leadership of the executive and a legislature taken him, on, taken him up on it? The Christian Association of Nigeria can is eagerly awaiting the rebuttal of the Chief Justice of Nigeria on the unfortunate and unguarded utterance that can provoke religious crisis in the country. Be that as it may, asking for constitutional amendment with a view to add into the Sharia content is ill-timed, provocative, and unacceptable. In our previous meeting with President Muhammadu Bari, we made it abundantly clear to him that the lopsided appointment of his government in favor of a religion and section of the country is unacceptable. Although he promised to look into the observation with a view to addressing it, what we are seeing and hearing about the government is a continuation of the lopsided appointment. There is enough evidence to prove that the subtle Islamization agenda and nepotism are real. They are direct contradiction to some portion of the 99, 1999 Constitution as amended. This include but not limited to section 10, 13, 3 to 4, 15, 2, D, and 4. It is widely believed that no country survives to civil war. 
our leaders should be mindful of the complexities of the people they are leading. There have been presidents who are Christians and during their time there was never a time they promoted their religion at the expense of others. Our leaders should stop playing, paying lip service to the unity and peace of the country. The above statement credited to the Chief Justice appeared to confirm our fears that the appointment were done toward a religious end of Islamization. Those in government are warned not to use the cheap popularity or acceptance they seek to set the two religion against each other. This type of statement, if true, is enough for the president of the country to in initiate the removal of this chief justice from office. He is religiously biased and partisan. These are not the best of times for the country and the citizenry, and both the government and the government must rise up to the challenge. Like it was said during the unfortunate civil war, keeping Nigeria one is a task that must be done. This is why some are calling for a return to the old national anthem. The Khan leadership at all levels is praying for the protection and healing of our country, but let those in position of leadership help our prayers to be answered by their action and utterances. However, the Dean, Faculties of Art and University of Ibadan Professor Afis Oladozu saw nothing wrong with the CJN statement describing it as a furtherance of the desire of Muslims, which had long been ignored. According to him, discerning Muslims have always advocated proper recognition of Sharia as an aspect of the Nigerian constitution based on the reality that the daily life of Muslims is circumscribed by Sharia provision. In a telephone interview with Saturday Tribune, they don't said if the constitution provides that every Nigerian citizen should be given the opportunity to manifest his faith as fully as possible, I think there shouldn't be any controversy from any legal quarters in respect of what the CGN has advocated. But I wouldn't be surprised if some critics, particularly from the non-Muslim section of the Nigeria population, pop populace begin to say that this is another attempt to Islamize Nigerian nation. My view is that we should look at this matter objectively and Muslims should join the CGN in calling for a total recognition of Sharia as part of the Nigerian constitution and be prepared for possible criticism and controversy this will generate. Also, a retired professor of Islamic study at the University of Ibadan, Dawood Noibi, Dawood Dawood Noibi, commended Justice Tanko Mohammed for making the call. Professor Noibi, who is the immediate past executive secretary of the Muslim Uma of the Southwest Nigeria, noted that the Nigerian constitution guarantees freedom of religion, both in terms of belief and in terms of practice, and this ought to be demonstrated in practical terms. The entire life of Muslim is to be guided by the Sharia. Therefore, the constitution must make adequate provision to facilitate this especially in a country where, where the lives of a huge percentage of people, especially in the north, southwest, and part of the south-south were governed by the teachings of Islam even long before the coming of the colonial masters and the imposition of their belief system way of life on the country. I commend the CJN and urge the National Assembly to act swiftly on the matter and do the needful, he added. Similarly, the Muslim Right Concern Group threw its weight behind the CJN suggestion. The organization, in a statement on Friday, described the current constitution as a child of British colonial Christianization of the country, which has failed to take into consideration the multi religious nature of the Nigerian nation. Morik's statement, signed by its director, Professor Isha Akintola, read in part, the CGN has our full backing on this. The British colonial government bequeathed the legacy of Christianization to the, the Nigerian nation. Muslims were not comfortable with it, but the British did not listen. The British did not give a damn. The, the Northern Muslims resisted and the British invaded the North. 
Muslim resistance was brutally broken by the ruthless massacre of thousands of Muslim freedom fighters in other land, particularly in Bumi, 1903, Satiru, 1906, Zinda, 1917, and those who surrendered were not spared as they were mowed down with machine gun. Thereafter, the British victors curtailed Islamic landmark. Islam have arrived in Katem, Kanem, Bono, in the year 1086, that is 1018, before the years of invasion of the north by the British during the reign of King Umi Jimli, while Christians were was first preached in 1942, 750 years after the advent of Islam under the Agesha tree in Badagri. Alright, guys, um time will not permit me to actually go further, but this is actually to um actually prove a point that the, the Islamic agenda what we've been hearing about is about to take off. Remember, Abbas Enjo have challenged Buhari. Abbas Enjo mentioned that he said that the federal government is planning for Islamization of Nigeria. Abbas Enjo said it was life and that he did not mind his word. You get So they attacked him and said that uh, he was trying to divide the country on religious land and all of that. But he said it. You get And also to Buhari himself, in 2011 when he contested and failed and i think even a previous date before that buari said that if he is given an opportunity that he will push for the implementation of the sharia law that is what he said okay so the guys um there is a serious underground plot to actually islamize nigeria just imagine the cjn chief justice of the nation who is supposed to be in in all way it's supposed to be secular you get nigeria is, is a secular country you just like today united states is a secular country no longer a christian country that is how it's supposed to be with nigeria nigeria half we don't actually know the exact population of muslim compared to christian some say christians are more some say muslim are more but the truth of the matter is that nigeria has a population and muslim also has a population and so therefore bringing up a religious sentiment like this is capable of causing religious war imagine he is saying that a, a, the push for sharia implementation should be done now and if you look at it just like what kind of just said kind of accused Buhari of actually lopsided appointment into his uh, his cabinet you get if you look at all the principal officers those operating the executive legislature and also judiciary they are all muslims they are Muslim. So, guys, thank you, Muhammad. If you if you run, if you check out his background, you discover he did Islamic studies. That is what he studied. I think was in university, or I don't know what I is at his doctorate level, but he studied Islamic studies. So, what do you expect from somebody who studies Islamic studies, who is a fanatic, a staunch fanatic of Islam? What do you expect from such kind of a person? This is one of the reasons that Buhari had to remove. Or not again. He removed one again because he knows very well that all through up to the Supreme Court that he is going to do what he is going to hack his way all through. You get because of the election, general election. So that is it. But what do you guys think? The Nigerians after they're reacting. I'm going to read some of their reactions here. Then uh, also to you, to you drop your comment. Let's meet at the comment section. Let me know what you think. Somebody say, I see. Because I'm a Muslim, won't allow me to support your rubbish. This country is a country of multiple religion with different tribes and beautiful people. So why do you want to use your selfishness to make the country just religious a religious just religion nation even god is upset with you people another guy says i don't know why the muslim are so insensitive selfish and wicked okay only the islamic doctrine should be added to the constitution what about the christian belief they are infidels right evil religion anyway as long as jesus christ is truly the son of god the islamization of nigeria shall never never become a reality what nonsense another comment here says where is reverend father agk mbaka has he gone deaf and blind and dumb yes this guy has a point where is reverend mbaka mbaka said the holy spirit told him that Buhari is going to win the second term you get so Buhari is going to win the second term did god not know or did is god or is Buhari the will of god because that is what mbaka is trying to say that Buhari is the one to bring the change to nigeria that's what he said first 
uh, term of Buhari, when Buhari, that was 2015 election, before that time he said Buhari is God's agenda. Buhari is God's plan for Nigeria to change Nigeria. But up to, day, up to today, have we seen any changes? What we rather see is a chain on Nigeria. Hardship everywhere. Things are very difficult. Nigeria is in shambles and all of that. So, but what do you guys think? I want to drop your comment below. Let me know what you actually think. This is Emma TV. God bless you all.